Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get these nasty dirty brushes to look clean and nice just like this. So if you're interested in learning on to see how I clean my brushes, then go ahead and keep on watching. So the first way I like to clean my brushes is just with a normal bar of soap. I like to use Zest, however you can obviously use any bar of soap. This is just my personal preference. Alrighty, so first I like to just run the brush under warm water. Not super hot, but it really shouldn't be cold either. And then I literally just take the brush onto the bar of soap. Um, you can clearly already see all the nasty makeup coming out. Um, I just so happened to choose literally my nastiest brush, which is my foundation brush. So this one did take a little bit longer to clean. Usually though, it only takes a few swipes on the bar and then it's clean. But as you can see, you can see where some spots are clean and some spots are dirty, so I'm just going to continue swiping it against the bar of soap, and then you'll see the makeup coming off on the bar of soap, and then as well whenever I run it under the water and run my fingers over it. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of speed through cleaning up the rest of this brush and then show you guys cleaning up a few more of my brushes. Not exactly all of them because that would take forever and it's just the same process over and over, so you'll get the idea. So as I clean my brushes, I do have either a rag or a towel on the side. That way whenever I am done cleaning up the brushes and rinsing them off, I will have something to set them down on the side and have them there to dry. And as you can see, I do, I'm going to lay the brush the opposite way. That way all the bristles aren't on the same side. And when rinsing off your brushes, it is important that after rinsing off all the soap completely that you try to get the bristles to lay in the same direction that they were previously. That way whenever they're drying, they dry in the form that they should take. So as you can see, here are my clean brushes I have laid out on a towel. You can see that every other brush is, they're faced opposite ways, obviously. Um, that way the bristles don't touch and they can dry faster. Um, I just let them dry overnight. I do have a desk fan that I place, usually clip on the counter to the side so they can dry faster. However, that is clearly optional. But yeah, just let them sit and dry overnight. Alrighty, so the second method and the second product that I use is the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner. It is, it claims to be quick drying and it really honestly is quick drying. So what I do with this product is I grab like a little bowl and I kind of already had poured the product in it and I forgot to record that. But yeah, I just pour some into a bowl and not too, too much, but enough to dip the brushes in. So with this product, you just want to dip your brush, the bristles, about one-third, one-fourth of the way in. And then on a clean rag, swipe the brush in little circular motions, literally just wiping off all the product off of the brush. And sometimes I dip it twice to make sure it's clean. However, this brush was clean. So yeah, this is what the brush looks like. It is a little stained just from shadows, but it's clean, I promise you. And yeah, just go ahead and do the same thing with all your other brushes that you're needing to clean in. It's literally that easy, you guys. You just dip it in there and swirl them on a clean towel. 
So these are the brushes all cleaned off that I used with the liquid blue brush cleaner that is supposed to give them that instant drying effect. So that's why they are back in here. And guys, it is so important that you do deep clean your brushes at least once a week. Four to five days is ideal. However, you know, Sundays can be your brush cleaning day. But you do want to make sure that you clean your brushes because whether or not you wear makeup every day, you're layering on makeup and makeup onto those brushes and not only that whenever you aren't wearing makeup and they're just in their little brush holders jars or whatever it may be that you store your brushes or just the place that you store your brushes you know bacteria builds up onto the brushes so you don't want to be putting that nasty bacteria because who knows what it is that's building up so you don't want to be putting that onto your face so happy brushes will be for happy skin and a nice pretty makeup application